Introduction Cyber Law Definition Cyber law is laws or specific law relating to internet and computer offenses, especially fraud or copyright infringement. Refer to any laws relating to protecting on the internet and other online communication technologies. Why do we need to learn about cyber law? Before we proceed, we need to understand the terms in cyber law. There are cyber crime, electronic, and digital signature, intellectual property, and data protection and privacy. Cyber crime is the main reason for enforcing this act is to ensure the misuse of computer will be an offence in Malaysia. This act is enforced on 1st June 2000 by Multimedia Development Corporation 1996 to 2012. Let's take a look after this to understand more about cybercrime. Is an electronic and digital signature. The Malaysian government has enforced an act to do facilitation of electronic deliver on government services to the public. It came into force on 1st January 2008 by Multimedia Development Corporation 1996 to 2012. Intellectual property or IP refers to a creation of the intellect for which a monopoly is assigned to designated owners by law. Intellectual property rights or IPRS are the protections granted to the creators of IP and include trademarks, copyright, patents, industrial design right, and in some jurisdictions trade. Artistic works include music and literature as well as discoveries, inventions, words, phrases, symbol, and design can all be protected as intellectual property. Data Protection and Privacy Personal Data Protection Act in 2010 is an act to regulate the processing of personal data in commercial transactions. However, this will not be applicable to government both federal and states and data processes outside of Malaysia. This act said to be enforced on 1st January 2013 but it has been extended to different date secure IT solution in 2011. Regarding to a statistic reported incidents based on the general cyber incident classification statistic in my search Cybersecurity Malaysia until 2018. We can see that the first highest incident report was fraud become 888 cases. Second highest incident was intrusion. Next, malicious code become 89 cases. After that, cyber harassment become 80 cases. Spam become 62 cases. Intrusion attempt is 43 cases. Vulnerabilities report and content related is 16 and the lowest accident is denial of service was one case. So now, let's discuss the meaning of fraud and other incident means. According to Megat Muazzam on his journal of what happened in our backyards, cyber security threats landscape that we are moving to a more interconnected cyberspace. Thus, regulatory instruments provided by Malaysian government. Digital Signature Act 1997 
Computer Crimes Act in 1997, Telemedicine Act in 1997, and Communications and Multimedia Act in 1998. The Digital Signature Act in 1997 aims at promoting and processing of transaction, especially commercial transactions, electronically through the use of digital signatures. Computer Crimes Act in 1997 created several offenses relating to the misuse of computers. It deals with unauthorized access to computer material, unauthorized access with the intent to commit other offenses, and unauthorized modification of computer contents. It also makes provisions to facilitate investigations for the enforcement of the Act. Telemedicine Act 1997 is intended to provide a framework to enable licensed medical practitioners to practice medicine using audio, visual, and data communication. In this Act stated that only qualified medical practitioners can use telemedicine and their patients' rights and interests are protected. Provides the future development and delivery of healthcare in Malaysia. In other words, it is used to ensure all activities done through telemedicine are safe and not risky. Communication and Multimedia Act 1998 provides a regulatory framework to cater for the convergence of telecommunications, broadcasting, and computing industries with the objective of, among others, making Malaysia a major global center and hub for communication and multimedia information and content services. To ensure that information is secure, the network is reliable, and the services is affordable all over Malaysia. Also, ensures high level of users' confidence in the information and communication technology industry.